Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, before I move on with the tutorial, uh, I just want to announce that I have changed my YouTube channel name to Dada because Dada is basically my nickname and also the name I DJ under. And I felt that since I'm starting to release tracks and making them public, and I noticed that my channel is growing, I felt that it was time to say goodbye to Side Drop Leap 91 <laughs> and stick with my uh, with my real nickname, so to speak. Because um, I want to I want to make my YouTube channel a little bit more connected to other projects that I have. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, let's dive in into what I want to show you guys today. So. It's basically, I got the idea uh, from Shep, actually, at Mute Production. He has this, he released a video using a new plugin from Tarnsturm, I think it's, I think you pronounce it that? Yeah, Tarnsturm, um, which is like some kind of EQ or filtering plugin, but instead of using it, instead of using a traditional EQ, which can mess up the phase and everything and all that, it actually acts on, on I think it's an FFT kind of filter thing. So you can get these really nice additive organic sounds out of it. And I find it very easy to use to make these kind of long droney atmospheres out of it. So... As our sound source, what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to make a atmospheric patch out of a very naggy sounding comb filtering uh, lead, which you can see here in pigments. So just a quick run through of the actual patch. It's a Turing oscillator mapped to the wavetable position. I think the wavetable is from source code, so it's one of the virtual light tables in, on Futurephonic. Uh, sounds like this. So quite annoying to my ears at the moment. Uh, no processing at all. And then we have the filter. And we got the sample and hold oscillator or modulator mapped to the frequency of the comb comb filter so anyway um, then I recorded a patch out but a uh, octave above so it sounds like this so and how do we make this into an atmosphere well it's quite easy let's First, first of all, dive into the spectral EQ. So this is like its default state. It doesn't do anything. You just have a straight line here. And you see the spectral information right here, right? So what we can do is we can choose which range of frequencies we want to play or let through. So let's say I want uh, only this band of frequencies to play. And maybe I want this one. It's quite fiddly to work with this one. I'm not super satisfied on how you actually dial in these. So we now got this out of this. Thank you. 
let's see if we can get away with this. So then we have our modulation sources. What we can do with this now is we can do this. We can shift it around. We can stretch it. And then we can skew it. So despite you drawing the shapes, you can always alter it afterwards if you're not 100% satisfied and set it to like fixed values. So let's say I'm happy with that. So then we can modulate this with an LFO. Gonna set it to BPM and go for regular over four bars and then we can change the shape. So I want a more triangle shape over here. Click this yellow button to assign it to the shift maybe. I'm gonna high cut it because I don't want those very high piercing frequencies. And I think I'm satisfied with that, so let's leave it like that. Or yeah, that'll be fine. So, I mean, the sound is pretty cool as is, but it gets even cooler when you start adding effects to it. try one of Altar's um, autoplay audio, which is basically like autoplay the MIDI effect, but it's going to get the audio instead. So let's see what we can get out of this one. I never used this one actually, to be honest, because I usually like to work with the uh, MIDI.
doesn't do that much. But there was one thing that I forgot to show you guys. Um, it's actually in here. We have this clean knob. What this does, as far as I understand it, uh, is that it will gate out some of the harmonics. So if you have it like at 100% clean, let's turn off all the other effects over here. So I'm going to mark shift and then press. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, I had to group them anyway. So let's turn off these. See, I can barely hear anything. So it almost sounds like shimmering glass or something. It's quite cool. It's very quiet though. Let's use a utility and gain it a little bit. Here we go. That's about it. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to where you can get the plugin. I'm also gonna leave a link to Shep's video if you wanna see what he does with this one. So thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.